Hey, welcome back to Gecko Cove. My name is Bobby, and today I'm going to do something that you guys have requested. I'm going to give you the short video because it will be relatively short. I don't have a ton of geckos, and it's literally the geckos behind me. But a lot of you in the comments have asked me to do a walkthrough of Gecko Cove, all of my geckos, how I keep them. So stick around. I'm going to go and grab the camera, shotgun style, and we're going to go and check out all the enclosures, all the geckos, see how they look. We'll see. They're not all fired up. All right. All right. So here we are at Gecko Cove. It's literally one wall. That's it. Not all these enclosures have a gecko in them but I'll go through and just kind of show you most of them. This is sort of the middle of the day. If you can see, there's a nice window. And uh, so with that, some of them are gonna be hiding asleep and we're gonna do the best we can. So I'm not gonna disturb all of them. But let's uh, start up here. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right. So these are my Costco shoe boxes that I did a video on. So I'll, I'll put the link up in the right hand corner here. But these are really great. I modified them, cutting a hole, adding the screen for ventilation. I also added the uh, kind of locking mechanism, which is just Velcro. If you notice all of my enclosures, if we open this one up, they still have the magnets there. Everybody has a water bowl, a food bowl. They've got branches going different directions, uh, some fake plants. And it's a pretty simple setup. I do keep substrate. Now, I was asked earlier about substrate there. I got to clean a poop right there. Uh, that's always nice. Um, but the substrate, there's not really much of a lip right there. Okay. Uh, if you look, so it's about where my finger is. So not that, that much. Um, so I kind of ramp it up in the back. So up front here, it's really shallow. If you look, it ramps up in the back and it's a great setup. The humidity is kept very nicely. Got to clean that one too. That's not poop. That's just some food there from uh, last night's dinner. Um, as we go in here, see if we can find the inhabitant here. I love this gecko. All right. So let's see where you're at. Are you in here? No. Interesting. Usually he's hanging out there. You're going to make this tough on me, aren't you, kid? All right. I really want to show you this gecko. You in there? Yep. Here we go. So this is, I'm not going to disturb him now. This is a little bit too hard, but this is my red striped female. All right. So I'll put that back. All right, so uh, I gave up. Uh, I couldn't find any of my geckos out easily and I wasn't gonna disturb them all. So this is my setup at night. I Looking around the room, you can see it's not a huge room. There's where all the magic happens, where I record and edit all my videos. But let's take a quick look again at the juveniles now that they're out and about at night. This is my koala geckos female. She is bright orange, love her. And then down here was the gecko I was trying to show you guys. It is from H2O Geckos. This is a beautiful female red six stripe. Can't wait till she gets up to weight about, about a year, year and a half before that happens. And then we've got this guy from Renee King. Um, we've, you've seen him before if you watch any of my content, but he is a fantastic deep red blotched uh, red base gecko. And so, yeah, these are just a few of the enclosures. Um, keep them all pretty much the same uh, with substrate and uh, cork bark and plants, all that good jazz. So let's look at a few babies. This first baby I wanted to show was actually my last production. So it actually hatched out this week. Uh, it is the only baby that I got out of Seychelles this season. Really, really excited about this baby. I think it's a six stripe. I, uh, In person, the color saturation on the sides is just phenomenal. Hopefully the camera picks it up here, but uh, really nice straight out of the egg. You could tell that this one is gonna be special. So this one stayed with me. 
it will not be up for sale anytime soon, uh, if ever. So depending on how it develops, I absolutely love it. Um, if you didn't see my baby care guide video, I keep all my babies in six quart tubs on paper towel with uh, everything that they need. So cork bark, plants, water, and food. Really simple, but really effective. Uh, this next baby here is about to be upgraded into the juvenile enclosures. And uh, I got this at three grams, again, from H2O Geckos. And man, did Oliver hook me up with this one. It is just absolutely stunning. I mean, look at the color saturation. Again, this is this is just a little over 10 grams. So imagine this one at, you know, 30, 40, 50 grams. I mean, this is just gonna keep spreading. It's been spreading the coloration on the head and you can see the, the stripes are not exactly straight, so they're kind of bleeding into each other. I think there's probably some kind of reticulation or blotch in the genetics here that we're working with. Back to the nighttime. So we're, we're looking at this next baby here, and this is my giveaway baby. So when we reach 1,000 subscribers, this was the second baby that I ever hatched out. Um, this is from Hawaii and Kilauea, gorgeous, gorgeous pairing, and I uh, produced a really nice striped gecko. Quad stripe probably will look a lot like Kilauea, um, which is not a bad thing. You'll see him later in the video. This was its clutch mate, the very first gecko that I ever produced, and this one will probably be staying with me as well. Uh, the blotching on it just keeps growing and growing, so... I'm probably going to keep it also just for sentimental reasons. Uh, how many people have kept the very first gecko they ever produced? Uh, if you have, leave a comment down below. So moving along, you can see I've got geckos. My one crested gecko is in the enclosure to the left. There's nothing on the, the right. And then the mister just went off in here, so it's really nice and uh, moist in this enclosure. But I keep a breeding pair in here. This is my girl Eve. I the camera at night, man, it's picking up her red. I love it. Um, she's hanging upside down, just chilling. I find her uh, higher up. I've got a little bit of a, a heat light, uh, nothing, nothing crazy, obviously. Um, and she likes to hang up on top. This is the male, Pralin. Uh, this is this is his favorite spot. Uh, usually, I'll find him in that cork tube, and uh, but he moves around a lot at night. Last night they were they were getting busy. Uh, you could hear them, so they were kind of loud. No privacy, none whatsoever. This is where I take a lot of my photos, keep my eggs on this this bench, and then uh, right behind the eggs, I've got four more left actually, um, I've got the, the missing system, so pretty simple. Now, these are my adult enclosures. These are 54 quart tubs, I, the lids snap on, and uh, yeah, I'll show you, first off, I believe this one here is my breeding pair. So here are the parents to the six stripe baby. So this is Seychelles here. And uh, I really like her. She's from Northern Gecko. Northern Gecko produced a beautiful, beautiful six stripe girl. Look at the horns on that thing. Um, and uh, she's from their group three, which is their six stripe group with the red six stripe group from them. Uh, and sorry for all the uh, kind of, uh, the color's a little bit blown out just because we're, we're at night and uh, yeah, it is what it is. But here's the male, this is Andros. Andros is also from H2O Geckos. Can you tell that I really like working with Oliver? Um, he hooked me up, he's got a beautiful red base. It's a little bit blown out right here, but uh, I mean, just the two of them together are absolute fire. Um, in here, they've got plenty of cork and plants to get away from each other if need be. Uh, I, I do not use any kind of uh, egg laying box. I just kind of mound up the, uh, yeah, and they'll kick it in their food there. I just mound up the uh, substrate to one side and they usually breed and uh, lay their eggs in that corner. So. When I spray down the enclosure, that allows me to really heavily spray in one area. And then the rest of it can dry out so they can kind of choose their own little micro habitat 
whatever they, they need at the moment. This one here, you've seen before in some of my other videos. Uh, it's one of my Super Blotch Girls. This one is from Firehouse Gecko. This is Bimini. And uh, you can see in here, vines, plants, uh, lots of cork tubes. Uh, I like cork tubes that are actually kind of broken, so it's easier to actually access your gecko if they are in the cork tube. You need to get a hold of them. A little less stressful on them, but it still provides plenty of uh, hiding spots. Uh, just look at how covered this girl is. And again, this girl is about a year and three or four months, so uh, she's huge. She's 65 grams. Um, she just keeps growing. I think she's she might have kind of a super gene. Um, yeah, I'd love to, to develop a line of just absolutely monster gargoyle geckos. All right, look at her here. Yeah, got a food bowl, the silicone food bowls. If you haven't gone to silicone food bowls yet, uh, you're missing out. It'll save you money. You'll save the planet uh, from, from wasting with all that plastic. Um, yeah, it's just a good time all around and working with one hand. All right. So next, let's see who we're going to show you just a few more. Oh, can we see through? No, can't see through there. Let's show you. Yeah, let's go back here. Uh, let's show you, uh, the, the giveaway geckos dad, Kilauea. So. Bear with me on the Blair Witch Project uh, photography here. This is Kilauea, my orange stripe. He is amazing. Ate all of his food last night. Um, the, the way these tanks, you can see the moisture. I didn't spray yet. Uh, it really does retain humidity really well in these tanks. But uh, he's actually got the phantom gene. Uh, both of his parents had the phantom eye. He's from Nature Nut. And uh, just a really, really cool gecko. He always likes getting to the highest point on me. So any chance he can to, to kind of run up my arm. Oh, there he goes. Let's get him off. He will climb up. But a really fun gecko. I was thinking of selling him, but uh, I think he's staying with me. Uh, he's just He was my first male that I ever bought. The first gecko I ever bought at Tinley. Um, so... He is probably sticking with me unless I get a really nice price for him. So, And that should do it for us here at Gecko Cove. Thank you for watching the tour, and I'll see you next time. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video and want to encourage me to make more Gargoyle Gecko content, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, share this with a friend, and maybe uh, check out one of the videos right over there. I'll see you next time on Gecko Cove.